Well, here we are again with uh, Empire Total War's uh, modification called uh, Imperial Splendor. I do have some uh, plans for what I want to do today. Is this video 31 or something like that, I would think? Um, well, I've beaten the Indians, by the way. Um, the, the ones that were over here somewhere and were on our way back, like I said I was going to do. Um, I should have done something else and that's what I'm going to do next time. Um, my troops are being replenished. That's the ones in here. Don't know why it's not showing you what's in there. It seems to be just red, doesn't it? So I'm replenishing those. Um, I'm building farms in um, Flanders and, and France, um, uh, but I'd like to know what's going on here. Oh, maybe I haven't actually built the farms in Flanders and France yet. I'm going to go and have a look at them in a minute. I thought I'd done that. Um, I, you remember I said I was going to finish off the last video before starting this one. Right, I don't understand this. I must have mentioned this before. I've been through every tech, every building that I can see, everything. I've been to the forum and checked any comments on it. But steel ramrod, can't find out what gets me the steel ramrod. Not only that, but the drill book. I've got this, that's why I can have these. So why can't I have this and this? Doesn't make any sense. And also, why can't I have this as well? So it's, it's all not making a great deal of sense, is it? Something strange is happening, it really is. But uh, anyway... Um, uh, answer on a postcard please no no seriously though um, I would like to know what, what's going on with that but uh, soon we're going to have our great infantry reform which is going to give me I believe um, oh it just gives me different types of infantry I thought it gave me something else as well but no I'm getting it mixed up I think with this one and we've already got that haven't we so okay so that's the thing on there I, maybe I will just check Flanders I thought I'd done it maybe I intended to do it on the end of the last video and didn't actually do it so what did I say Flanders I haven't done it, have I? Well, there's one. Good. Uh, I've got another one in France somewhere. There. So that's th no. That's not it. Come on. It's a farm. There it is. Okay. Upgrade that one to there. And we've got 867 left, or 807, whatever it is. And that's okay. I don't think it's enough to buy me anything else, really, that I want, is it? So... Um, no, not yet. Okay, right, uh, turn end. Let's see what they've got in store for me this time. What I'd like to do um, is, well, I've got a problem with this as well, to be honest with you. Um, in that I'm told if I build a town hall, say in Quebec, who's the military alliance? Yeah, I wonder if they'll give me a thousand for it. What do you think? Bargain for a thousand? Payment for a thousand. What do we think? What were they offering? 400, 559 or something like that were they offering? Uh, yes? Good? Oh, I should have asked for more. No, I don't think they'd have accepted more. It's alright starting very high and working down, but realistically it just doesn't work. If they're making an offer of 549, I think the top end of what they're um, able to pay is about 1,000 really. So. so I now have an alliance with uh, what I've been warned of as the dangerous nation really, which is Prussia. They want to be friends. Hmm. Whether that's um, uh, a ruse, I really don't know. Here we go again. Look at this. These six nations are appearing from everywhere. They're only attacking me, by the look of it. They don't seem to be going for Spain, um, who have no troops whatsoever in their region. They're not, they're not going for uh, the Americans that are just below them. They don't seem to be going for anybody else but me. And it looks like the Americans have taken their place. I was just having a quick look at it between videos. Um, but they, um, they seem to have taken... Uh, one of the Six Nations places. I looked at them for diplomacy, uh, the Six Nations, and they only had one region left. So, right, military technology, great infantry reform. Right, good. Now I can get the cavalry drill. Yeah, the other thing I was going to ask about was this. Um, this one. Shortened carbines. Before I can get those um, th those cavalry that we were referring to before, I need carbines. And um, the carbines I don't get from there. All I get from this is cavalry wedge formation. So I need carbines, and none of these are carbines. These are just improved carbines, like I say, or shortened carbines. So how do I get it? I, I don't understand how I go for that at all. I really don't. But anyhow, um, what do I want to do? I don't want that. I'm going to get this, because I've only got one left on this to go, and it's, um, uh, okay, it's going to cost me more for my artillery units, but, um, it, and I know it, en it enables the explosive shells for howitzers, mortars, etc., and I don't really need that, but um, wh what I do need 
is um, to move on up to here so I can get this. This one here gives me a better chance of, of, of hitting. In other words, there's a minus 10 chance of um, misfire. And it says for all gunpowder weapons. So that's got to be good. Um, I've had some battles in the snow. Not in the snow, sorry, in the driving rain. So it's worth having. Now, these are sort of probably better guns, but I don't, I don't really want them. I don't think the, um, the howitzer ones. Um, but it does give me a, a plus to the movement range. But anyway, th these are all other issues, you know, that we'll um, sort of find out as time goes by. But what I have decided to do is to get rid of this... Well, not I don't know if I need to get rid of it or not. At the moment, I'm just going to put it in there um, because it's not doing me any good at all, I don't think. And I'm going to get these onto here. I know, it seems daft, doesn't it? Because can they just go straight onto there? Let's hope they can. I think they can. Yep, good. Um, I'm just going to go and wipe him out. Instead of fiddling about up here and allowing this guy who's round here, wherever he is, to do his damage, because there's another one round there. There he is, there. So they're just going to go around destroying places, aren't they? So I've had enough of them, basically. Now, they've only got one region left, um, because like I said, well, I think they have, unless it's all changed again. Where is it? Here. Yeah, that's right. United States, you see. And they're an ally of mine. So what I'm going to do is take my troops down to here. And I'm going to attack his only t his only territory that he's got left. Right, okay. I don't suppose I'm going to be... Oh, actually, he's a bit nearer than I thought. Oh, and there goes the telephone as well. Hang on a second, folks. Ah, oh, crikey, almost forgot what I was doing. Um, it's been like an hour. Uh, half hour's um, telephone conversation. And then... Uh, made myself a cup of tea, which I've got in front of me here now. Have you noticed that little horse running around there? I wonder if that makes a difference. You know, if you own a territory like that, maybe that will enable me to... Ah, uh, oh yes, good. Aha! I brought only the guns, as you know, that are mobile. So I'm hoping I can simply take this. I'm going to have a look at that place that he's got in there as well. What is that? Um, practice fields or something. Converts, but oh no, I don't want that. Converts it to animism. Recruitment, uh, capacity enables recruitment of. Right, okay. Well, no, it doesn't tell me anything else, does it? I was just thinking maybe I could get horses from there or something, but it's highly unlikely, isn't it? So, okay, well, let's see if these guns can move anywhere. Oh no, he can't go anywhere, can he? Actually, it does look like. No, he can't. I wonder if I send somebody in there to invite him in. What do you think? Should we give it a try? <laughs> it works! Well, did it work? No, it didn't work. It's just sent him over here, isn't it? Oh, how bonkers is that? But at least he moved. That's weird, isn't it? He can move a certain distance. Oh, on in mind, I'm making a mess of this, aren't I now? So let's get back into here and then get the army to take this place. Okay, I'm just going to auto resolve this because it's waiting for the artillery to get into position. Um, he's not stupid enough to hang around, so I'm just going to go for it. I've had lots of Indian battles recently. Demand surrender? No chance. Right, okay, let's see what it gives me. 100 losses? 95. Tell you what, it's pretty darn close, isn't I? So, did I lose any units? I don't think I did. I didn't notice. Let's hope not. Right, okay. War declared. Right, region captured. Good. Nation destroyed. Excellent. Right, war declared. Prussia and Austria. Right then. Um, come on, guns. Can you get into there, please? No, you can't. Right, how happy is the place? It's red, but it's only on minus one, which is brilliant news. That means that next turn I can put my guns in there and it'll be settled, won't it? So let's get rid of that. Um, what other buildings have we got inside here? We've got Fur Trader, which is good. Um, communal Farming. I don't think I can upgrade from it. Let's see if I can. If I can, I will. No, I can't, can I? So we're going to get rid of that as well. Um, have a look at this, though. Oh, I can upgrade from this. That's good. That means that it's a Western-type building. Um, right, anything else in here? Uh, nothing else, is there? So, no, no, it's, it's okay then. Let's just get rid of that. Um, that's good, isn't it? Right, okay, so the Six Nations finally wiped out from knackering up all these places around here, making a mess of everything. I want this now, please, um, because 
Oh, I don't know. He's living on borrowed time, isn't he, really, him? So what do I do with all this lot now? I think I'll go for this. Because I've been told that it will get me the um, North American Light Dragoons. But I require carbines. Where do I get carbines from? Here we go. We're back to the old story, aren't we? Oh, it doesn't show me on there, does it? But um, I can't get carbines. I can only get shortened carbines now. So... I perhaps don't see any point in this, but I'm going to spend the money anyway because it's the only shot I've got. It's the only chance of getting anything decent in this place. So I'm not sure if the ships can, or the ship can get back actually. Can he? He can partly get back. Do I leave my entire army in there though? I'm going to leave that one turn and then have a look and see what we can do afterwards. Right, the other thing I wanted to do was, um, if I could, I bet you I can't afford any of these things now. I was going to upgrade the farm in England. Um, what did I do with my tech? Um, yeah, I think they're all sorted, aren't they? Right, okay, farm in England. Uh, see if I can still do it. Can I afford it? I bet you I can't now, that I've taken that place. This is the thing, isn't it, when you change your mind about what you want to do now? Well, that's it, I think. I don't think I've got enough money probably to do anything then. I wonder if there's... what else did I have on my list of jobs that I wanted to do? Ah, right, okay. There's a weaver's cottage in Savoy. Can I afford to repair that yet? Um, I don't even know where it is. Is it that? No, can't afford to repair that. That's another thing on my list, and I can't do it, so... I wonder... ah, I know. What about this? Can I... I can't even do that. I was going to say I could repair... Um, no, actually... Oh no, I'd have to build a new one. I could. I wonder if I can repair the ones that are in here. Oh yes, I could do that. But, should I really be replenishing... No, I'm not going to replenish my troops. I'm going to do that. Um, because that then means next turn I can upgrade that. And that's in a better position, that one. Um, raising... Um, uh, Decent can I mean, I think it enables me to to recruit more as well, or something. I'm not sure, but I don't know. But I think if I want it anywhere, I want it there rather than in Scotland. So, okay, and turn. Let's see what happens this time. I think that's all I could do. Yep. What am I up to? No idea about video time, but I set my stopwatch again, so it's about twelve and a half minutes. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how many of you are engineers out there, but um. Uh, I've just been sent a drawing of something that I can make and it involves you know, a tapered pin going down a hole and then being wedged and threaded first. Yeah, even the side of the pin is threaded and... oh, crikey. Hmm. Now... Ah! Oh good, they're not coming my way. I, d I don't know who that was. Was that Spain or Portugal? I, I think it might have been Spain. I get the two of them mixed up. They're very similar, aren't they? That's possibly one of the reasons why the Total War team decided to go for pretty standard flags um, instead of these. Okay, military technology, um, that's the artillery. I'm getting cavalry drill next. I don't think so. I don't want the cavalry drill. Um, workers on strike there. Well, let's put the guns in and see if that improves things for them. Oui, monsieur. À gauche. Merci. That's done it already, just one gun. That's brilliant. I might just use this as a keeper force, you know, with low numbers of, um, of men in them, uh, because they're giving actually a 14 um, settlement in, in the place. So, actually, there's no resistance, is there? Oh, yeah, there is, actually. Yeah, 12. Okay. Um, no, before I do that, let's go on to the tech and decide what we're going to get next. I think I'll go for the coke blast furnace wherever it is this one you see i'm hoping that i, I don't know it, i've read these you see you can get the iron masters works for a start but um i think i've already got it i must have i must have a steam engine factory because i can i can even get interchangeable parts um minus five upkeep costs for army units and, and naval units um look at that 64 turns it'll take to get that Wow, I wonder if it's worth swapping these two over and giving them the chance to get it. Won't tell me, will it now? Oh, it might do. Yeah, 23 turns. That would be quite a valuable thing to have, but how can I have it when I haven't even got this? It really doesn't make sense, does it? Let's just try taking them off there. Which one was it? It's this one, wasn't it? Okay. 
and then giving them that to do. Now why can I get that? There's no way I've got a steam engine factory anywhere. No way, I haven't got one. So why can I get that, but I can't get other things? This is weird. Um, but it's going to take 23 turns. Minus 5 na army units, um, naval units, town wealth from all buildings, enhances national prestige. Um, you see, this is one of the things that I'm thinking about that would enable bayonets. But it doesn't show me that it enables bayonets anywhere. So I just don't know. I don't know what is going to get me the bayonet. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to get rid of this as well because I don't think I need that. Um, I'll give him... Oh no, that's going to take ages. Keep him on that, I think, and then I'll give him the coke blast furnace, which is what I was thinking about in the first place. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm just hoping that what will happen is that, that when I get these improved metalworking buildings and these improved metalworking things, I don't know, then I'll be able to move on and get things like bayonets. I'm just guessing, really. I'm a stab in the dark, really. So, okay. What, what was I up to? Um, uh, yeah, I think now, in the Netherlands, I'll build that arsenal, if I can. Because he should be repaired now, shouldn't he? Yeah, and I can afford it. Excellent. Uh, right, OK. Again, it's all about developing things so that I can get my uh, bayonets that I want. Partly it's, it's learning about the game, finding out what will enable me to have that. Maybe I'll do a how-to video then, how to get steel bayonets, I really don't know, but there must be something that I'm missing in this. Right, okay, um, I'll do have a look at these, workers on strike, no surprise there, we sorted that one. A new town emerges. Oh, and that's also in the territory I've just taken, it's interesting. Come to, right, what's this? Construction report, uh, okay, I'll just settle for those. First volume, Bax, Well-Tempered Clavier, or Clavier, or I don't know, Clavier, I suppose. Right, um, uh, right, okay, um, what do I do? <sighs> I, I've got two, actually, two new places. I suppose I ought to build these, so I'll get it, I, I need that, did I get it, did I build the town hall? Oh, hang on, I didn't destroy that building. It's not mine. What am I doing? I'm looking at the wrong place. Am I? Uh, no, I'm not. It's right, isn't it? Um, strange. Anyway, I don't quite get this, but... Okay, we'll destroy that one, and I will build... I thought I'd dealt with this. I thought I'd got rid of things and done... You see, I can't build anything else. So, okay. Get rid of that, and nothing else can be done. Can I recruit anything in here? No, nothing at all. I can't do anything. 944 left. I think maybe I'd better leave it at that. Um, on the other hand, what I could do is... Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Over here. Let's have another go at Tunis. Let's see if I can make some money out of them. So, take the ships I don't need out of here, which are these and these. Uh, and take... I don't know. One, two, um, three, four, five, um, six. Yeah, why not? Leave the cannon behind. I don't think I can use them any anyway. So uh, I think the road goes up to here, doesn't it? Yep. Oh, is that okay? Is it okay? Yes, it's on yellow. It's just about okay. Over to here. It's not got much of crap down there at the moment, is it, or anything? Uh, no. We're all back to normal. Resistance is coming down, so that's looking good. Good. Well, I can get six out of there then, which is what I've done. And I will put those on... Hang on. Did I do that right? There. That's it. OK. And then send these over. I'm starting to worry, you see, now that, that he's got um, a better... Um, force over here in Tunis. It's wrong because um, I, I don't see where he's getting the money from unless people are just giving him money, which wouldn't make any sense. Uh, right, okay, I need to sort of go around about here, don't I? So let's come around here. 
Let's see how many ships he's got. No, we can't from there. That's a shame. But we can see he's now got two units in here. And he's got no money. And he's got religious unrest. I mean, it's improved for him. I oh, know it hasn't. I was going to say it will improve for him in a, in a moment, won't it? Because we're going to be in there. But uh, what am I doing now? These guys here. Out to here, where the road is. Yep, thank you. And then I'll just attack up here. Why not? And then back again if I can. Oh, almost. Well, at least it's damaged that. It's going to cost him something, isn't it? And then next turn we'll head down to there. I don't think I can move any further, can I? Oh, just a little bit. Just to there. Okay, right. Um, can't see any ships in there. Does that mean he hasn't got any at all? Does that mean he is recruiting some? I really don't know. But I'm going to go down there and see if I can pick on some ships of his. Other than that, 944. So what else can I do? I know my trade routes are being raided and all kinds of things. Ah, I can put him back in there, can't I? I don't know what to do about Hanover. I know it's aggressive. And I know it's going to make an attempt for me fairly soon. Um, but as far as he's concerned, I've got 17 in there, even though most of them are just dragoons. So he won't know that. He's got 19. Is he going to attack it with that? I very much doubt it. But let's see. There was a place near Cologne, actually. Um, actually, can I repair that one now? I tested it before, didn't I? And I wasn't able to. This one. No, I can't. Um, hmm. Not sure if I check the other places, but never mind. Okay, onwards and upwards. Okay, time to sip the tea anyway. That's another reason for ending the turn fairly sharpish. Right, I think Russia, are, in fact, I know they are, unless they've just severed their alliance, um, that Prussia are allied to Hanover. So they won't be attacking them, but they do seem to be pretty aggressive towards the Austrians, don't they? Now, it's okay that they're losing troops at the moment, that's good for me, but it's not good that they are um, gaining chevrons, especially now they're getting better quality troops. So good quality troops with lots of chevrons are not going to be much fun for me to fight, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. And I suspect Hanover has pulled a unit out of there because he's got too many units in there, but he's now recruited more than 20. I don't know what to do about Hanover. If I do go for them, it's going to anger Prussia, isn't it? OK, who's got blocked? Ah, I don't know why he's blocked, but... Oh, he's repaired it. Look at that. Why is it... He's, look, he's raising no taxes. Well, he doesn't seem to be, from what I can see. Um, and yet he can still do that. We've got any ships in here. Yes, we've got ships. Brilliant. Let's take some ships then. Um, what's he got? A brig and a six rate. Okay. First of all, let's get him down to there. Excellent. Well, I might as well put others through there as well. I think they can all get through. I'm going to take them one at a time in the hope that it does more damage. I think it does. Every time you put a unit into attack, causes damage, I'm almost certain. Right, okay, there comes a point though when I'm still inside his zone of control there, so I need to be careful of that one because he might decide to come and attack me then. Let's see what happens. Okay, he's pretty badly damaged now. Yes, he is. Um, Okay, well, he hasn't decided to attack me yet, has he? I might just be on the outside. Actually, now I think about it, you can't land in a zone of control of the enemy, so I can't land in that red area anyway, so it's not possible um, that that we could be stuck in that way. So, Right, okay, it's going to be a case of jumping in here, taking his ships again, chain shot, in line, and then taking some money out of him, and then putting them back on the, uh, the ships here. So I'm going to go on and do that, and I'll be back in a tip. Well, that seemed a little quicker than normal, actually. I wonder if I've got one of the techs that improves my cannon fire. I'm not sure if I've got that yet. Um, right, OK, 2,409. Very nice, thank you very much. We should have pretty well wrecked this as well, moving in one at a... Ah, that's a new, unusual, isn't it? I'd have thought that moving into there and then moving into there would have been enough to wreck this place pretty badly as well, but maybe it hasn't done. Well, it hasn't, has it? Has that wrecked it anymore? Hardly. That's a bit strange, isn't it? 
I think it might be worth me putting an agent over here, you know. Just to see what happens and maybe do him a bit of damage. Okay, maybe next time. But for now, I'm going to take the money and run. Back we go. Good. I don't think there's anything else we can tack, is there? No, not from what I can see. Okay, well, let's have you paying all this money out for these troops. Um, you've got war weariness. Um, you've got, oh, is it climate for reform? Yeah, war weariness. Oh, not predicted. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. You've got no incursions in there anymore. You've got climate for reform. Um, two stroke five predicted. I think that means it's going to go up to five. That probably means he's upgrade. He is. He's upgrading this building. Look at that. The school. So he can afford to do that, to upgrade that. And... Um, he's, he can afford to maintain these troops here and he's not taxing the place. Even if he could tax the place, all he's going to get is a maximum of 40% of that. 10% is 65, yeah. 20% is, what, 130, so it's 260. I know he's a little bit more because of this as well. Call it, I mean, let's be generous. Let's call it 300 per turn. There's no way it's going to be that, but um, these will cost... Show me, please. No, it won't show me. How much it costs to maintain? doesn't tell me. But anyway, I bet they're about 300 per turn. So all the time he's losing money. So it really doesn't make sense to me. They're the little anomalies that I dislike so much about um, the, these games. But anyway, there you go. Um, it's a small price to pay for everything else that's so absolutely wonderful about it all. Now, what were the things I couldn't afford to do last time that I think I might do now? One is... I think I can repair all these places up here now, of course. Did I build this? But I did. I know I did, actually. Just double-check what we have got in there. Two turns away. Right, now over here, um, Algonquin Territory or whatever it's called. Oh, I can build it now. I can afford it. Yes, good. Well, let's have that then. That's good news. And what have I got? 6,663. Of course I can afford this. What am I talking about? Why didn't I do it before, then? I don't quite understand. Um... Maybe if I had a turn end and I did it on there, but mm, not sure. I thought the last time I looked at this, I couldn't do it. This is what happens when you have a break, isn't it? You know, a telephone call like that. Coaching in church school, let's have one of those. And then in here, I'll have the farm. Why not? What have I got? I've still got 4,900 and more left. I could even do this, but no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to repair some of these places now, if I can afford to. They badly, they're not too badly damaged either. Um, this one? Oh, that's badly damaged. Oof, 3,000 and something. That's really bad. Now, this one here got hit lots and lots of times as well, didn't it? Whatever it is, this one. But that's not half as bad. So I'm going to repair that as well then. And anything else? Uh, I could build something in there. Quite a few things I could get in there. Hmm. I don't think I really need anything there, though. But I could do really with repairing that. Oh, it's a lot of money, isn't it? And there are still Indians around that don't like me. I, it's not worth it, is it? It's in too risky a territory, so I'm not going to do it. Um, right, OK, but there were other places. There was the one in Savoy, which would be nice to do, which is uh, this one. I can repair it now. Well, let's do that then. Um, let me just double check that I got what I wanted in here. Yes, I did. OK. Um, repair this in Savoy. OK, and all I've got is 481 left. Right, well, we're almost up to the half-hour mark, so I might just have chance to do one turn end, and then that's it for this video, I think. So, hmm, I think I've done everything I need to do. Uh, yep, yeah, OK. Hate doing that, just in case. Um, right, Austrians and Prussians are fighting each other. Good. It's funny, isn't it, actually, that the Hanoverians haven't come out in support of the of the Prussians. They just seem to be hanging around their own capital, don't they? I think they're planning an attack on me. That's the only thing. Um, but I wonder, if they do attack me and decide that they can't win, if they might simply siege. If they siege, I might just be able to sneak through and take their capital off them with one of my other places. The only problem is then I'll leave a big gap in my line open to either Austria or, or to Prussia. So I just don't know. Mind you, I could then, after the Hanoverians are wiped out, I could then bring forward my Amsterdam troops, can't I? Who's this? War declared. The Pueblos have declared war on me. Right, OK. Um, ah, hang on. They're next to that other territory, aren't they, that I've got? Um, the ones... Is it actually Florida or near Florida? I'm not too sure what it's called. It's not Florida, is it? Florida's that little... 
<laughs> I nearly said something rude then. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's that little bit that's sticking down there. <laughs> okay, uh, they wish to bargain with me. Peace treaty. The Cree. Oh, okay, I'll give you a peace treaty. But I want a payment. I want, um, what, a thousand? Will you give me that? They're willing to bu Oh! Oh, blast. I was going to try 500 and then 200 and I, I clicked the tick by mistake. It's Probably, if they're not going to give me a thousand, they probably aren't going to give me anything. So, build because they didn't offer anything, did they? Building constructed, yep, good, thank you very much. And that's Algonquin territory, excellent. Peace treaty signed, me and the Cree, very good. I thought it was an alliance as well, wasn't it? Was it just a peace, peace treaty or an alliance? Oh, never mind, doesn't matter. Trait gained, thank you very much, I think. And public servant dies. Which one was he? Office following years of fulfilled whatever. I don't really know what he was, but let's have a look. He's in Paris, isn't he? Which means that I'm a minister down, I think. Let's have a look at my ministers. Uh, huh. Well, they're all good anyway. Maybe it wasn't then. Maybe it was in here then. Oh, I don't know. don't know what it was. But we seem to be okay. Technological advance. Now what do I want to get? Now... I had a plan for what I wanted to do when I got to this stage. And let's have a look. I made a note um, of how I could do this tech that would work for me. Um, right, okay. Um, right, okay. My best university, that's this one. I'm going to get them to do the one that leads to the Iron Masters. Oh, I'm already getting it. That's the Coat Blast Furnace one, isn't it? Um, oh, I decided to get it earlier. Um, Right. Well, actually, let's swap things around then. Let's not get it with that one. Let's get it with this one. He'll only take three turns. Right, good. So let's get it with that one. And then, um, what else do I want? This university, I'll get to do... Um, I've already got that as well. I left a note for the cell that I want to get the first artillery tech. Um... Right, okay. What's this one doing? It's getting sextant. I don't think I want the sextant either. I'm going to get... Um, instead of the sextant, I'm going to get the flintlock cannon. That's the one I thought I had before, wasn't it? That's five. Um, actually, I wonder how long this one takes. Seven. Hmm. Okay, I'll get it through there then. This one, I don't know what to do with it then. I seem to have already got some of the text that I thought I was going to need. Now that's going to take 19 cavalry reform, which I don't really need anyway. Cavalry drill is eight. Um, oh, to platoon firing, not sure. Maybe I should move on to perhaps some of these, but I think they give me minuses, you know. Oh no, they don't. They allow all sorts of other buildings that I can't afford to build, which is not very good, is it? Uh, this one, utilitarianism. Minus one happiness. It's no good, is it? But it allows me to build universities. But I can't afford them anyway, so what's the point? Government by consent. Uh, happiness, no good. And this one, division of labour. Uh, minus one happiness. Lower classes again. Was that lower classes? Or is that upper classes? Minus one happiness. Clamour for reform. That's just a general one. It doesn't say lower classes. Uh, minus one happiness. Clamour for reform. Whereas this one... Uh, minus one happiness, lower classes, clam for reform. So I wonder what, what it means, just general for both or just for lower classes. Um, division of labour sounds like a good thing, doesn't it, really? Oh, more skilled and organised workforce. Maybe they wouldn't like that, I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, what else can I get? What about this? No, puddling furnace, I don't think so. Interchangeable parts would be nice. Takes forever. Um, spinning jenny, I don't think so. Um, flying shuttle. These are ones that can be done fairly quickly though, aren't they? For this one that's um, not very good, university. Um, I think maybe we're finally going to have to go for the cavalry drill. What about this though? That's only six turns. Enhances national right, plus five movement. Let's go for that then. What the heck. Okay, and I thought I'd planned all of that as well, just in case, but obviously not. Trait gain. Good. And I've got 6,388 to spend. Uh, if I look over here, um, let's see what's happening. Because I suspect... There you go. Look at that. No surprise, I suppose. Um, two lots of Indian horsemen. 
and I know they call Native Americans, but I call them Indians because that's what I'm used to. So they're Pueblos, aren't they? Now, let's see how many the Pueblos have got, how many regions that is. Um, Pueblo Nation, Open Negotiations, and Regions. Right, they've only got one region. So if I can just jump in there and take his region, that's the end of the Pueblos, isn't it? And then I've only got the Spanish next to me. Which, so far, have been nice and friendly. That's not mine, is it? It's a Spanish one. Yeah, have I got any nearby I can move into that area? Uh, what do I do? Put them on ships and go and attack his main territory, which I don't even know where it is. It's miles away. It's all the way in the middle of here. I have no idea what's there. I've got no spies I can send in or anything. Um, I can't get my ships out of there. So, what do we do? I suppose I have to recruit, don't I? Cool, can't afford that. It's so expensive. I can get loads of troops in here, though, can't I? As a matter of interest, I wonder how many I can actually get. You know, they take one turn. One? Ah, I can only get one at a time. That building will only allow me to have one at a time. Uh, repression, plus two bonus. Yeah, I can only get one. Hmm. Okay, ah, now that did say... Hang about a minute. Oh, I saw that. There were some dragoons in there I could get. Where have they gone? What am I doing now? Um, here. Right, was it that one? Did that say Dragoons? It did. But I need carbines. There's no carbines. So how do I get that? What, what is this all about? Me no understand. This one as well. Carbines. Carbines. There aren't any carbines in this. Um, right, okay. How good are the cavalry? I suspect they're not very good. Four, five, five. They're pretty rubbish, to be honest with you. What are his like? 773. And they can fire. 773. But we get improved accuracy, don't we? Uh, I'm going to need some horse in here, I think. I haven't got any at the moment. Is he horse? No, he isn't. Right, OK. Uh, perhaps I need a general. Uh. 18 and 18, 9, 14, 10, Marachal de France. Um, Marachal de France. Uh, this is the one I couldn't work out. Uh, keeping their commander alive. Um, well, they're better than his, aren't they? But they're smaller units. I think we're going to have to have a general in here. Yep. And... I think maybe a unit... Oh, no, it's going to take two turns anyway, isn't it? So, no, I'm just going to leave it at a general. And we'll just we'll just have the general for now. That's probably the way to do it. And then hope that we've got enough when he does make his attack um, to be able to defend the place and maybe even uh, organise an incursion into his own territory. Anyway, all that's going to be for another video. Oh, crikey, I'm nearly 40 minutes now. Time just flies away, doesn't it? I don't think I'm going to be bringing these back from here anytime soon, but they are on green. Maybe separate the troops out a bit. Maybe now I can replenish those troops, because I might need them. I might well need them. Three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know how good they are. They don't seem particularly good, do they, in their bow-armed infantry? So I think we should be OK and fairly safe from them. Anyway, that's all to be thought about on the next video. Um, I'm just wondering about maybe blocking up this crossing area here, though, with my um, ship. This one from here. I think I ought to do that, you know, just in case anybody decides to come across. It's whether we feel safe enough here for now. Mind you, the Cree, I think, are the ones up here. They're the ones who uh, wanted peace. From oh, no, they're Inuits. Oh, I don't know where the Cree are. I thought the Cree were right there. Anyway, so, oh, I don't know. Right, OK, let's get back. Um, and put him... Do I bring one unit back with me just to make sure the place is safe? It's tempting, isn't it, just to bring one. So I've got something in the but What have I got in terms of um, town watch? Yeah, I've got a couple in there, haven't I? So that's good. Uh, maybe bring one unit back with me then. Mm. Uh, what about... It's going to have to be a good one, I think. The best I seem to have in here is this 90. Let's put him in then. Uh, let's just see if he can come out first. Uh, yellow. That's coming down. 
There's no military crackdown, so it should all be okay, shouldn't it? And I could always jump in back again afterwards, couldn't I, if, if, if the need arises. What happened then? I've just put the whole army in there. Oh, you blooming idiot. Honestly. Oh, honestly. Right, okay. Get him in there. Right, and as many as I can back in here. No. No, they won't go in now. No. Oh, honestly. Right, okay. Okay, we're back to yellow with the artillery going back in. Um, to there. And nobody on the ship now. Uh, because I can't do it. And I can bring the ships up to here. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to, just in case anybody decides to do anything stupid. Come on. <laughs> yeah, anything as stupid as what I've just done. Honestly, I he's probably got military access anyway. He'll probably get across anyway. But at least now it means nobody can come through here and attack my territory, doesn't it? So maybe it's not such a bad thing holding this little area, actually. If nothing else, it's a defensive point, isn't it? Anyway, I've got well over time now after making that stupid blunder yet again. I wonder if this infantry can move anywhere. He can. Dare I risk bringing him out there to see if the artillery will be invited back in? Nope, I don't think I dare. Anyway, let's think about what I can spend the money on. Thanks for watching again, folks.